Piston steam engines work by using steam to power a piston. The steam is generated in a boiler, which is a large vessel filled with water. The water is heated until it boils, creating steam. The steam is then supplied to the engine through a valve, which controls the flow of steam into the cylinder. In a rotary engine, the steam is admitted to the cylinder through a valve that is mounted on the rotary housing. The steam pushes against the piston, causing it to rotate around the central axis of the engine. As the piston rotates, it drives a crankshaft, which rotates in the same direction. The steam is exhausted through a valve that is also mounted on the rotary housing. This allows the steam to push against the piston continuously as it rotates rather than back and forth. In a reciprocating steam engine, the steam is admitted to the cylinder through a valve at one end of the cylinder. The steam pushes against the piston, causing it to move towards the other end of the cylinder. As the piston moves, it drives a crankshaft, which rotates in the opposite direction. When the piston reaches the other end of the cylinder, the steam is exhausted through a valve at that end of the cylinder. The piston is then pushed back to the original end of the cylinder by a spring or counterweight, which is called a counterbalance. This process is repeated over and over as the steam pushes and releases the piston in a back and forth motion.